Whoa, Daddy, look. I'm definitely taking pictures of those. That will become my screen saver. For example, and keeping the actors moving within the parameter of that room. So there are approximations of things. It's a pipette grind. But there's a tight little room. See the door. So you have to use the whole thing in your head. We make the physical piece. Bob Pratchett. You have to know exactly where it goes within the motion capture stage. So it's a lot of interesting. Hey guys, look at this over here. So if a room is a certain dimension, the actor can't roam beyond that or he'll walk through the wall or he'll walk through the door. Just for the instance, if you've seen the pictures, you've seen the artwork, you know what the, the thing's going to look like. And so, when you get so much, it must have started. You've got the little ones over here. Isn't he pretty? It's such a great story. It's so much fun. I mean, the detail, the articulation, the miniatures, the artist's rendering, the trying to all of that to make it real for me. The beauty of a Christmas carol is in the details, and making sure that we got the details right was very important. Instead See of that. searching around London for little tidbits of reality to shoot your movie, we can build it entirely to look real in the way it really was. If you were to put a virtual camera into a environment, you could follow screens to a whole set, and you could follow movies. This model had to be just right because they helped all of us, the filmmakers and the actors, to visualize the world we're creating. These are the models. These incredible scale models really allowed you to absorb the place, the feeling, and the atmosphere. See that? Isn't that cool? This is Scrooge's office. Yeah. You got Scrooge. Then you have Harley. And then you have the ghost. Scrooge is the boy. It's a yeah, they put the tiny little dots on it. The computer reads this kind of size. And it has holes in it. And then they block it with a pen. Those markers, those cameras are so precise that they can read every pore, every crease in the actor's face, which is the most critical part of this process. When we fire the 3D receptors, or cameras, if you will, the computers have to know where to start and where to end. And so all the actors have to start the camera. That's the very simple. 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 That's